Hey, Auspect, you here? Today, I'm going to show you how to get transparent view models in TF2 the easy way. For the first and easiest way to get transparent view models, we are going to head over to Toon HUD's website. Link down in the description, and then we're going to sign in with our Steam account. At the top left where it says Toon HUD, it should say My Theme right to the right of it. You click on it. Then it should load a page where it will have all your previous themes if you've ever made themes with ToonHUD. If you have never used ToonHUD, all you should see is this plus sign. I am going to be using a theme I have made in the past, but if you feel like making your own, feel free to create your own. So once we have, once we're in our themes, we're going to want to scroll down, make sure to name it, whatever you want. Then we're going to want to roll, scroll down to where it says override. And we're going to want to check the box that says transparent view models. And with this, this will enable transparent view models for us. And then once we have that checked, we're going to go up, hit save, hit download. We should have this file called ToonHUD underscore and then our theme ID. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open this file and it will open the zip file and we should see ToonHUD right in here. And what we're going to want to do is head over toward to our Team Fortress location, which we can find by hitting, going to our Steam library, hitting, finding TF2, right clicking, going to manage, browse local files, and then it will take us to the Team Fortress 2 folder. What we want to do is hit TF, and then we will be here. Uh, you want to look for the custom folder. Please ignore these other customs. These are just my custom folders that I am not using right now. So what we want to do is we want to find this custom folder. If you do not have it, hit right click, hit new, and then hit folder, and then name it custom, all lowercase. Once we're in the custom folder, once we have the custom folder, we're going to hit it, and then I already have it installed. But what we would what we would do is we would go back to our file that we opened from the download, and we would drag and drop ToonHUD into the custom folder. I am going to cancel this because I don't need it, but once, once that has fully loaded, you should have ToonHUD installed. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open Team Fortress 2. And once you load up TF2, you're going to want to create a game or go into any kind of match. And then you're going to want to open your developer console. If you don't know how to open your developer console or you don't, or you can't, uh, link down in the description to my how to watch and record demos I go over how to open up the developer console then once we are in the developer console what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to type exec exec and then we're gonna hit our space button enable underscore and then it has already topped up but we would type exec enable enable underscore transparency and what this will do is, as you can see, there is, I don't have transparency. If I enable this, transparent. This is probably one of the easiest ways to get transparent view models in TF2. But this does require using Toon HUD. So if you are using a different HUD or the default HUD, this does require you to use Toon HUD. And then if you want to disable, what we would do is we would do the exact same thing, but it would be exec disable underscore transparency. And then, bam, we're back to normal. These commands will also be linked in the down in the description, as well as in the pinned comment. Now, for the second way, we're going to want to head over to huds.tf and then we're going to go to flaw hood. Now, you can you can search huds.tf for huds that uh, have transparent view models enabled, but we are not going to be doing that as we are going to be going and hitting 
right down here in the description of for Flawhood. The creator of Flawhood has created a nifty little TF2 HUD editor program for us to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the latest version here, and we're going to and it's going to take us to this web page. Make sure to make sure to install .NET six uh, before running, otherwise it will not load for you. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit TF HUD editor .zip and it should download. Here it is. So we're going to open that. And then it opened up on my other monitor. Sorry about that. We're going to want to open this. Oh, sorry. So once it's in here, we're going to want to hit right click it, hit extract all, and hit extract. Now, as you see, we have this folder. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit that and then we're going to enter hit open the exe tf hood dot editor and it's the application windows is going to say oh no this is unknown your computer may be at risk it's it's safe hit hit accept and then we're going to find the directory to our custom folder so your yours is most likely going to be in your C drive, but for me, I'm gonna mine will be in my D drive. So, in the in the last step where we created and put, installed Toon HUD, this is this is exactly where we need to be. So we hit that and then hit select folder, and then as you see, bam, there is a new HUD scheme update. Would you like to resupply? You know what? Yeah, well, we will do that. Now, once we're in the TF2 HUD editor. We're gonna want to find the HUD of our choice. I don't. I have not tested all of these HUDs. All I know is Bud HUD, Default, and Flaw HUD support transparent view models. Bud HUD doesn't have a select box in it, but it does. Oh, it does actually. I just see that now. It, so you would hit transparent view models for Bud HUD, uh, for Flaw HUD. You would also find transparent view models and select it. But for this example, we're going to be going with the deep, good old default HUD. So we're going to hit customize, and then we're going to go and find transparent view models, and we're going to want to toggle that, which can be found under gameplay. And then, if you want, you can you can edit any of these as you like. But for, for this, we're just going to be toggling transparent view models. We're going to hit install, and then it should be installed. And then it automatically installed master config view model, transparent view models add-on. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to close out of this. And then Once we have TF2 open, we're going to want to go and either join a game or create a server. I recommend creating a server to make sure everything is working properly. So we're going to hit start and then we're going to let it load. That we're in our server, we're just going to pick a team, you know, whatever. And then voila, we have transparent view models. The application installs the HUD with our, with our presets as well as if we toggle transparent view models. It downloads the config that allows the, the work as well, the transparent view models to work on the HUD. Now, for for HUDs that are not on that editor, there is a way to do this. It does require quite a lot of editing, and I have not done this in a very long time. I don't even know if this is still 100% accurate, but here I will put this link down below for anyone that has a HUD that they would dislike to update to use transparent view models with. Any questions, leave a, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. Um, 
We also have a Discord. Uh, feel free to come join, ask any questions you may have. Uh, I can definitely help you a lot more in depth on the Discord. And then also, if, if you want to know how to uh, watch demos and re watch and record demos, why not check out this video? Link in the description as well as up in this card. Again, hopefully, hopefully this helps you all. And have a good day or night and enjoy your Scream Fortress. Peace.